It's always great to look at a bit of silver. Who doesn't love a bit of bling? Well, today, Edward VII is providing that joy in the form of this, a silver shilling coin from 1906. So it's well over 100 years old, which officially makes it an antique. But before we take a closer look at this one, let's have a quick chat about what was happening in the world in 1906 to throw a bit of colour at this coin. 1906 was the year when the first Grand Prix was held in Le Mans, France. SOS, the Morse code notation, became the recognised international distress signal. The vaccine for tuberculosis was first developed. Theodore Roosevelt was President of the United States. The San Francisco earthquake destroyed much of the city in that year, killing thousands of people and leaving many more homeless. This was the year that the British Labour Party was founded. Bugsy Siegel, the American mobster, was born. And so was the English author Catherine Cookson. So that's what was happening in the world during the year that this coin was minted. OK, what can we say about this? Well, it's a grubby specimen, that's for sure. But you don't want to be cleaning it, as it could damage and degrade the coin itself. So it's best to leave it as is. Right, we can see we've got the uncrowned portrait of King Edward VII on the front, facing right. The lettering around the edge translates to Edward VII by the grace of God, King of all the Britons. And the engraver of this coin was George William de Saul. When we turn it over and look at the reverse side, we've got this impressive crowned lion standing on top of a crown, which also splits the date, 1906. We've got the denomination at the bottom, one shilling, and the legend around the edge, which translates to Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. Twelve of these pennies made up one shilling. But unlike the pennies, this is made from 92% silver. So it's worth a bit of money. Not much, but you'd expect a coin like this in this condition to fetch between five and ten pounds. I paid ten pounds for this, so it was at the top end of the scale. The dealer was in no mood for giving me a price reduction. I guess he must have been having a bad day at work. Over 10 million of these were minted, so there's still a fair few of them knocking around. If you go online and see what prices people are listing these coins for, it's between £10 and £20. But whether they'll get that kind of money for them is another thing altogether. So what do you think about this coin? Is it one you have in your collection? Let me know if you do have one in the comments section down below. Right, let's wrap this one up here. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Give it a big thumbs up and do turn on that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching if you have, and until the next one, bye for now.